Hello, this is Piffy Builder 88 and today I finally figured out what was up with my microphone. Now you can hear me like this and you can hear me like this and yeah, it's great. Okay, so now you can hear me. The audio, it works completely and it still has amazing quality. So now that we got that settled, yeah. I found out what's up with the special fish, the password fish to be for exact, sorry. Um, once we catch them, there will be a thing right here that pops up that says special fish and it will show all our password fish that we caught. And all the black ones are, are ones we haven't caught, like these, you know? These are ones we haven't caught, but they're not password fish. We could just catch these no matter what. And just showing you really quick, I, well, since last time I did off screen, I inputted every single password. So there's 12 password fish right there. And I tried it out on my other file just to see how the fish work. So they work really well. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna go catch some fish. So I was thinking like five new fish each video something like that let me just untangle my nunchuck sorry there we go all right so let's go to the clipboard and okay so seahorse we could catch a seahorse we could catch japanese lobster we could catch blue tang which is the species of fish Dory is from Finding Nemo. Oh, and today is Friday. Um, today, the new Pixar movie comes out, and I'm super excited about it. Inside Out. Awesome. And this one's Sea Robin. Um, Pennant Coral Fish. Um, Flounder. Okay. We're going to be catching all of these fish at some point. You know what? Maybe I should do six fish a video. And then... Yeah, with rare fish, it will be a little longer. But yeah, I'll have the time right here so I can see how long the video takes. So yeah, which fish should we set as the... Let's... Um... Small, medium... Small... They're all pretty much just small fish. That's medium... Small. Small. Okay. Let's. Let's. Even though actually Japanese lobster isn't a fish. <laughs> Japanese lobster is an arthropod. Anyway. Let's put this as our target for the day. So we can just do that. And now it's our target. And you can see there's this map. So receive term in paradise beach map. Yay. We got the map to who, to those who found the map of Termin Paradise Beach. 1,000 bonus points. Yay. All right, using the map. Open map slash look. Once you received a map, access it by pressing the Y button. Press the Y button again to open the mini map. Actually, I don't think I even knew that. Let me see. So then warp to a known destination. Once you've explored an area, a mark will appear on the map, allowing you to warp there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, the only time though you can warp to an area is when you've explored it and it's not in the middle of water because you can't warp in a boat. So that's how it works. So yeah, we'll be doing this um, dream aquarium tour at some point, um, but yeah. And the south coast, we'll do that. We're gonna do all these in the submarine tour. Yeah, anyway, I already talked about that in the last episode. But we should talk to this guy first. Hey, enjoying the resort? Me? I recently inherited this island. That's right, I'm the owner. I'm thinking of opening a new aquarium here. One so big that all the fish in the land will be able to swim freely in it. In... Therein? Okay, anyway. Ran into the 
and ran into one problem though. I seem to have mistakenly let my fish go that were supposed to be placed in the tanks. Oops. But there's still hope. Enter you. Can go out and catch all the fish again? I'll take that look of bewilderment as a yes. The fishing instructor told me someone with great fishing potential had come by recently. That's why I was waiting here for you. So, let's start off with 10 different types of fish from the nearby vicinity. Can't just can't just have the same types of fish swimming about all boringly, right? So, catch 10 varieties of fish. That's our first quest. Yeah, actually, let's complete a quest because we'll be completing these quests. Let's do this. So, you talk to this guy, and for 20 points, you get a bike. So, that's pretty cool. Now, and I mean, you don't get to keep it. Oh, my first bike ride given for the first time bike riders. So 1,000 bonus points for that. Um, controlling the bike, yeah. Okay, so press C to make the bike appear. Oh. So it can be like, if you press C and you get off, if you press C again, you get back on but it only works in one day. So that's how it works. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, so press minus and here's your map. Let me see, so as you can see, I've been to all these places, but I haven't been to those two other blank flags over there. I can warp to these places. But anyway, the um, let's press Y again, or minus again. Oh, that's what it is, okay. That's cool. So, we got the mini map all set up. So let's go this way and get our warps all set up. And yeah. And then we can see our catch for the day. So Japanese lobster, big catch rock. So we're going to that place right now. If you, um, right here you can see big catch rock is where we're going so. I keep, dang it, <laughs> yeah, we don't really need a mini map, but anyway, let's go and bike our way all the way over to Big Catch Rock, and yeah, there's some really fun fish in this area, very tropical and colorful, but um, yeah, there's a ton of fish in this area alone. But this is an area filled with teeny tiny fish. And some big ones, but not very many. So, and by the way, all these people with exclamation points, they'll have quests. So we're going to be doing all the quests. Just let's first do the first quest. So, yay. Okay, so, press A, and we got this. So let me just... Um, D-pad. Oh yeah, swap tackle, so. Yeah, so you can choose float or lure. Um, and you use the D-pad to do that. And you use your rods, reels, and bait to catch different fish. And then lures, um, have many lures. We're gonna be buying every lure and do all that. Although, I already said that. Although, even though we're gonna buy every lure, I recommend using, um, float more. I mean, it depends on you. If you like reeling in a lot, then that's your thing with lures. I like float fishing more. So, I mean, some fish we're gonna have to use lures on, but yeah. So, S size is our only fishing rod, Journey. Um, and then Journey, it's real. And then we got free bait. <laughs> so yeah, for now we're just gonna be doing this. So let's see what we can catch. <laughs> oh, there's a moray eel in there. If you see on the far left, it's swimming away. Yeah. 